Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have the Beatles again for you, and I personally have been loving our Beatles journey. I came into this not knowing very much at all. Phil had a little bit of a background from it's his true. dad, and uh, most recently we did Here Comes the Sun, and I think that That's might right. be one of my favorites so far, that and Oh Darling. Both of them are fire. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> You can't I love them. go wrong with They're just the so like happy and uplifting. And Yeah, I mean, the, uh, here, here comes the sun, I think we said in that one. It's yeah. just like, if you, you wanted to smile. paint the picture of happiness, how would you do so? Yeah. Would have been in that song, right? And yeah. um, it was George Harrison that did that one, which was yeah. new to me. I didn't know that about that song, mm. right? I had a, you know, a feel for the song and you, it was the first time you had listened to it or no, it wasn't. No, I had heard it from Parent Trap. That one, you had some familiarity. Familiarity. <laughs> Familiarity. Yes. <laughs> uh, I, you had some familiarity with that one. I did. I knew it, but yeah. um, that was the only one that you knew. Yes, I had never heard any of the other ones. And Oh Darling was also just fire from Paul so and the vocals on that one mm -hmm. just blew us away. Anyway, so today we're coming to eight days a week. Eight days a week. We're I hoping. thought there was only seven days a week, but... <laughs> Maybe they'll elaborate on that. But I, I, I was going to say that with the Beatles, guys, we never know if we're going to get the videos up. We want to continue to do them. Uh, I saw another channel was able to do eight days a week. So that's why we picked this one. Keep your fingers um, crossed for us. I do believe I know the chorus from this this mm. song. Okay. Um, but I don't I haven't really paid attention to the lyrics and, you know, the depth of it as usual with some of the other Beatles stuff yeah. that we've done. I know nothing. Sam does not. So you're excited to check out another Beatles song? Yes. And what is your expectations coming from coming into this one? You said happy go lucky vibe or uplifting vibe in the past couple. Are you thinking that we're going to continue on that trend here? I don't know. I mean, they've been so different. I think that's the thing that's been really cool about our journey with them is seeing how diverse that they were. And, that's you know, right. they were like obviously international mega superstars, but they had so much creativity in their material, which I think is really cool. So you're hoping for more creativity on this one. Yeah. I mean, I've liked all of the vibes so far. I just feel like the happy go lucky ones have been like the most fun. Yeah. Uplift you and yeah. make sure your day is going on the right, right path. Yeah. A nice little uh, boost of positivity for all your right. day. Let's see if we get a boost of positivity. But before we do, I got to give you a little pop quiz question. Yeah, see today if you, it's Phil's job, not mine. See if you guys are into the Beatles mania. And the question is, this song, Eight Days a Week, was released on a UK-based album in 1964. What was the name of that album? Mm -hmm. If you know that, drop it down low below. If not, don't worry, I'll tell you at the end. Yes, ready? I am. Let's do it. Let's go. Eight Days a Week. Upbeat, cheerful music to start. Ooh, I need your love, babe. Guess you know it's true. Hope you need my love, babe. Just like I need you. Hold me, love me. Hold me, love me. Ain't got nothing but love, babe. So, how are you feeling about eight days a week? Did Definitely it live up to your... Definitely a positive, <laughs> happy-go-lucky song. I yeah, manifested, it, apparently. When we were talking about it beforehand, um, I knew the vibe going yeah, into yeah. it, that uh, you were going to get what you asked for. 
Yeah, it's cute for sure. And I guess that like my interpretation of the the lyrics is that they're basically saying that, you know, seven days isn't enough. So I need eight days. To eight love days a week. Day. You got to be loving. Yeah. Yeah. And these visuals are killing me. Like, I mean, not in they're a bad really cool. way, but they're almost like distracting me a little bit because I'm just laughing at like all of these crazy women like running all over the <laughs> field, being carried off by the police officer. Yeah. I mean, the colorization of it is very cool, yeah. too, because we've seen some other videos from uh, the Beatles in our experience that has been black and white Mm -hmm. and uh this is like great quality video you know getting to see them in their element Mm -hmm. and like you said at this concert it looks like it's in a baseball stadium in the u.s yeah um don't know where um maybe it might be seattle i feel like i've heard about that before Mm -hmm. um but um what's sticking out to me on this one listening to it a little bit closer and having a little more experience from the other songs that we mentioned prior is that the vocals are really sticking out in the mix so you've got harmonized which is always fantastic from the Beatles and I feel like they set the tone for so many artists going forward in that regard yeah um, you know harmonies when I come when I think about it personally I think of like the Beatles and the Bee Gees yeah. basically from our experience but yeah um, in the mix in general you know the other ones that we did like here comes the sun and oh darling although we mentioned Paul's vocal was outstanding and oh darling it was still there was a lot of instrumentation that was very prominent yeah and it this wasn't one, as far like emphasize yeah, at the front pre- and this one is pushed back a little bit more to show off their vocals yeah. and you know it's it's funny now that i know the beatles a bit more i feel like i'm starting to be able to pick out the intricacies in their vocals before when i knew the beatles when i was younger i was just like oh they all kind of sound the same to yeah because yeah. they're very similar vocally yeah. right but now that i've listened to them more thoroughly i'm like okay yeah you can I, tell I, who's I can who and... pick out who's who a bit better right yeah and uh yeah so that was just really surprising you know listening closely that it's such a banger it's such a great song but it's all attributed to the way they put it together with the chorus it's short it's mm-hmm. got a lot of energy Very catchy but the way they deliver the vocal is so important on yeah. this one and yeah uh, i totally agree that the vocals job. definitely at the front more in this than yeah. the other ones oh yeah for sure yeah i feel like the instrumentation was sitting a little bit more in the front the yeah other and the other thing i really really love which i think actually you may not perceive it to make a huge difference because it's so subtle is the clap that they have mm, yeah the clap that they use is so perfect yeah, for the, the timing tone, yeah yeah and the way it plays off of that vocal yeah. so uh, it just i love fits it in so perfectly there yeah i love it so where are you is this <laughs> <laughs> that's a great place it's a tiny little shirt are you uh putting this up there on your beatles uh, or on the songs that we've done yeah i like this one i feel like it, it reminds me a lot of the two i'd mentioned earlier like yeah. the same kind of vibe as um here comes the sun oh darling like that more like upbeat positive happy like love kind of song yeah i feel that fits into your wheelhouse yes it does <laughs> all right let's continue Days a week by the Beatles. Yeah, that was good. And I just going back to those visuals, like I just can't believe how obsessed these girls are. Like, oh, well, we had seen Elvis recently, and we said, you know, same thing, same yeah. thing, right? It's it was just, just, I just can't wrap my mind around it. It's crazy. It was, 
the like, UK and British British invasion. Yeah, they're literally like screaming till the shoot that girl was like pass now. It's wild. Well, that's the other thing to remember, right? Is that they were uh, UK based, right? And I think people were anticipating them come coming to the US. And mm-hmm. I don't know when the visuals would have fallen into in that time frame, but it could have been a circumstance as well that this is the first time that they're in the US and people are like clamoring to go see them because it's, you know, not something that happens very frequently. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I assume the tickets probably would have been expensive to go yeah. see the Beatles because, you know, it's their first time in the U.S., but maybe that's as well why people were like, I have to go Extra see them. Extra layer, and Like, yeah. oh, my God, they're here. And, yeah. You know, I mean, the, I get excitement, but, I mean, that's just... I, you don't you don't ever really see anybody these days, like, people that obsessed with. I don't know about that. And maybe. I, maybe I just don't see it. I, I think people go pretty crazy. <laughs> like, those Swifties. Yeah, those fair, Swifties, fair, like, I mean, fair. That would be today's version of... Yeah, I guess. You're right, yeah. I think it's just, you know, maybe personally at the time, uh, you know, uh, the artist that you would have... Like, if it was Eminem for you when you were a young girl, Mm -hmm. like, you might have been not going to the same extent. Crying with (laughs) Ace Off, screaming until I was literally purple? Probably not. (laughs) Probably not to that degree, right? And that's why they're showing it. I would have been really excited, but... That's why they're showing it on the... Because it's so extreme, right? It's the craziness of it, but... I was like... But, you know, if Eminem came up to you and, like, hugged you or something, you might have, like, started crying and be like, oh, my God, oh, my God. Like, you know, yeah, that, yeah. It, it might have happened. But I mean, so, just to, like, see from a stage, I'm like, these girls are crazy. Yeah, anyway. So, coming back to the song, what I noticed in the back half was bass groove really stood out a lot to yeah. me, um, really setting the tone. I believe that would have been Paul playing that. Yeah, it had such a good rhythm. Yeah. And uh, I like the transitions in and out of the uh, chorus sections with the drums. I thought that was really, really done well. So, um, you know, I, I would never have picked that up if we hadn't done the channel, uh, really dive, mm-hmm. dive deeper into the listening of the Beatles and it makes yeah. me appreciate them that much more. And, um, I assume you're appreciating the journey as well. Yeah, I am for sure. I'm loving it. And like I said, in the beginning, like, it's so cool to see all the different types of music that they created. It wasn't like they just had one sound and they stuck to that and stayed in their lane and everything sounded the same. It was like, there's a wide diversity. Yeah. I can understand why they're so popular. I mean, you know, in light of that, even though the sound of this feel good vibe between here comes the sun and and this you could say is similar um the the way it sounds is vastly yeah different. the song gives composition you, is completely different it gives you that feeling mm-hmm. but the way they were able to portray it is vastly different yep. between the two songs mm-hmm. so that's their uniqueness i think coming yeah. through mm-hmm. anyways guys that's enough that's enough from us today we'll be back with another one tomorrow hopefully we see you then we drop two videos every single day and before we go i almost forgot i gotta, gotta give, give the, the answer, answer. The pop quiz. see i don't normally do the pop quiz questions and answers so that's why i almost Almost forgot but the answer to that question was beetles for sale that those girls album. would have liked to hear that those beetles were for sale because they would have been bidden pretty high that's right that was the album name hopefully uh that guy that may have educated you guys a little bit because it was a uk based album so if yeah. you're from the u.s you might have heard it on the u.s album which they were both different anyways yeah. guys that's it we'll be back tomorrow thanks for watching guys see you then